So today I'm going to be showing you what's in my tech bag. It's been a little while since I've updated everyone and now we're getting into year five of me doing these tech bag videos. I really have my kit dialed in. I've made a few subtle tweaks and changes for this year though that I am excited to share. Getting right into the bag of choice this year though, this is the Air Tech Pack 2. I've been a big fan of the Tech Pack series since it originally came out. I had the Tech Pack 1 back in 2018. Since this one has come out, it has been my new favorite for carrying around my tech. Be sure to check out the full review of this bag if you've missed it as well. But getting straight into it, uh, starting off with this far back compartment is actually empty for me. Uh, this is normally laptop storage, but the way this is designed, um, it's a little bit more space than I need to be honest. So I just kind of keep this back compartment closed off. So getting into the actual first used compartment here, uh, we just have my 2018 MacBook Pro. And uh, this thing has been a real workhorse. To be honest, I was this close to pulling the trigger on one of the new M1 MacBooks or even a Mac mini switching to a desktop setup since I've been at home so much, but still rocking the trusty 2018 MacBook, still going strong, although I do have my eye on those M1s. And uh, just to get it out of the way here too, my water bottle of choice. This is the new Hydro Flask Lightweight Trail Series. I've been on the hunt for a water bottle. This one really fit all of the criteria I need. I've been a big fan of Hydro Flask for a long time and this thing has been excellent. I take it out camping with me. I uh, take it out on any sort of day trip. This thing is always at my side. From there, I just have my original Kindle Paperwhite. I've had my eye on the new third generation because it's waterproof and I have been taking this out doing a lot of reading while I'm camping while my wife and I are out on the coast spending the day now that the weather's getting nicer. Let me know if anyone's upgraded to the newer generations if it's been worth it. This thing's been such a workhorse for me. I would hate to get rid of it unnecessarily. I haven't been that big of a fan of audiobooks in the past in favor of actually reading, although I have been testing the waters with some audiobooks as well. But the Kindle Paperwhite still comes with me all the time and uh, I'm currently reading Wild by Sherald Strayed. Uh, big fan of the movie and just never really got around to reading the book. So that's what I am reading right now. It's been great. One last thing I keep in this back compartment is a reusable grocery bag. Um, this bag was actually from another backpack. It's the black chrome chrome backpack that I reviewed last year. Uh, the liner of it is actually a removable reusable bag and I've actually snatched it just because I like the gray color. It's really nice and sturdy. Um, I'm generally on foot all of the time so if I need to run and grab groceries or get something while I'm out walking I have this with me so I can carry any overflow from the backpack when I need it. Still really nice and lightweight and uh, yeah just been a really great design for me. Getting into the main compartment here, this is gonna be the rest of the uh, tech sort of items. I have a pretty minimal tech setup compared to a lot of people. I've really just been moving more and more into using my phone for just about everything. And speaking of phone, I have the iPhone 12 Pro Max. This thing has been awesome. And I'm pretty sure this is gonna break my yearly upgrade cycle into keeping this thing long term. We'll see. I'm on a lease plan with Sprint, but I think I might just buy out the lease and hold on to this longer term. I've been a big fan of the Oregon themed Field Notes notebooks, but I actually got this one sent out to me from a company here in Portland called Wayfinder. This is just a nice little grid notebook um, that I've been carrying around with me. I love having a notebook for when I need it. You know, you never know. And it's just really nice to have it. And I love the, uh, the gloss black. It says, let's go. And uh, so you have matte black, gloss black. I love the uh, the combo and the look there. And to pair with the notebook, I have my favorite pen. I've talked about this thing for years now, and I'm still going to keep drilling it in for all of my fellow left-handers. Uh, it's the Uniball Jetstream 1.0. You get a really nice inky look without it smudging on your hands. And uh, getting into my battery bank, this is a little bit of a newer update for me. Uh, in favor of carrying my whole MacBook charger, which I don't end up using that much if I'm just out on a day trip or out at a coffee shop or doing something out and about, I don't generally need to charge my laptop. So I started carrying a little bit of a bigger capacity power bank. This is a 30,000 milliamp hour RAV power power bank. Uh, it's really nice, it has USB-C and USB-A. 
and I can charge my MacBook directly from this if I need. It is only 60 watts, so if you have one of the uh, old-timey MacBooks like myself, it won't give full power, but it's definitely enough to top it off and recharge it, and has been working really well with this system for me. So this is about the same size and weight as my big MacBook power brick, but I can charge my phone with it, I can charge my Kindle with it if I need, my AirPods, anything like that. So I just have a few cables with me, trying to keep it as simple as possible. My Kindle battery lasts forever, so I don't usually bring out a charger, but I have a little lightning cable, and then I have a USB-A to USB-C braided cable. Uh, this is typically what I'll use for my MacBook, and then I have just a little USB-C to USB-C cable here, and that goes for my T5 SSD. Uh, this is my only and favorite editing drive for editing videos on the go. It actually normally stays in my desk setup when I'm home too and works as my main editing drive uh, while I'm home as well. Really great combo, a little bit pricey, but if you have an older MacBook, it can really add to the capacity and the speed without having to spend a ton of money or having to replace your computer. That's been a great purchase of mine a few years back and the prices have dropped significantly since I got mine. So definitely check that out if you're in need. And then uh, in this top compartment here for the quick access, I don't keep too much, but I just have my AirPods. I have this little black uh, silicone rubber case it's nice black design matches everything else I have a little bit nicer, but it's also good for like drops and spills and stuff. Generally not worried about that, but it was only a few bucks and uh, I like the black case much more than the white case. My dongle of choice uh, on the go is still my hyperdrive dongle here. It comes with a nice little leather sleeve. Um, since last year though, I have actually upgraded and use a CalDigit TS3. I've really been working and setting up more of a desktop setup up with my MacBook while I'm at home. We were all home so much last year and I've really kind of shifted to having a little bit of a homier desktop setup, but this thing still comes on the go with me, especially if I'm out on a job and need to load in memory cards or something. It's just really nice to have it if I need it. It's such a small, slim profile. Before we continue, I wanna take a minute to thank the sponsor of today's video and that is Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning platform. They have thousands of different classes from illustration, photography, design, business and entrepreneurship. They're always adding tons of new classes as well. So even if you've been on before, I would highly encourage you go and check it out again. They're always adding new stuff. Every time I check in, it seems like they've got a new class or two that interests me. Lately, because the weather's been getting nicer, I've been out camping and backpacking a lot more the past couple of months. So I've been bringing out my big camera with me and practicing some astrophotography. Uh, there's a really great class called Intro to Astrophotography, How to Capture the Beauty of the Night Sky by by Gary Cummins. I would highly suggest you check that one out if you're interested. Uh, I'm not completely a beginner, but it's definitely shown me a lot of tips I didn't know before. So check that out. Uh, Skillshare premium membership costs less than $10 a month with an annual membership. And the first thousand people that sign up with the link below in this video will receive a free trial to Skillshare Premium. They have some really amazing creators sharing a ton of awesome knowledge on there. Huge thanks to them again for sponsoring today's video. But that's actually gonna be it for what's in my tech bag. I know I definitely have a very minimalist setup these days. I don't carry a ton of extra stuff because I know what I need. This is year five of making these videos, year five of carrying my tech around on foot. I also want to hear about your setup. What sort of tech bag are you using these days? What's your favorite piece of tech that you're carrying with you on the regular? I'd love to hear about it. Thank you all so much for watching though, and I will talk to you in the next one.